So from the NBA Playgrounds news to some other interesting news from this past week, interesting being a, uh, once again, a very appropriate word for what's happening here, but five copies of NBA Elite 11, as you, which, as you may recall, was, of course, cancelled ultimately, um, pull, pulled from shelves uh, just before it's set to release, even having the launch party, as we've talked about before, but and ultimately cancelled. But five copies of NBA Elite 11 are selling on eBay, or they're certainly listed on eBay at the moment, for $30,000 US, Ben. That's, uh, that's a lot of money for a game that was cancelled due to quality concerns. Yeah, uh, yeah, just just a bit a bit pricey in that, uh, especially given too that you have to pay for shipping as well. Mm-hmm. Good, yeah, at, uh, least, at least throw in free shipping. It doesn't look like the looking at the lot on there. They don't even have uh, shipping to Australia. May not ship to Australia. So yeah, yeah. And of so course, we, we need a PAL version anyway. But that's a little bit out of my range. Don't know about you, Ben, but thirty grand for five copies of the game. Is um, yeah, that's like down payment on a house or whatever, or so. Yeah, <laughs> so, me selling most of my shoes. Yeah, so my collection gone. Um, <laughs> wouldn't have it. Wouldn't have anything to play it on. Um, obviously, people have been pointing out that it is a you know a crazy price for for the, for the games. I mean, I, I might point out that at the same time, there's a somebody selling an NBA Elite Eleven case, just the case plus shipping for uh, th- you know three three thousand two hundred fifty dollars uh, US. Plus shipping, for just the case, uh, that's not a great deal. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a worse deal, and at least at least these some of them are factory sealed. Still, a couple of them factory sealed. Uh, three copies for uh, Xbox 360, two for PlayStation 3. So I get if I had a PS3, I could just get a PS3 version and, and just have that uh, imported um, and, and play it region free. Um, but the thing you got to remember with with unreleased games, especially. Is, there's been, I think, about 100 or so copies of NBA Elite 11 have got out into the wild before. Um, I, I, th- I was reading it. I read that on our wiki, so I must have got that from somewhere at some point. <laughs> uh, this is why I should have uh, citation needed on our own wiki. It's an um, embarrassing moment for me. Um, but <laughs> but th- there hasn't been a lot of copies got out into the wild, so they are in limited supply as far as being rare collectibles. And when it comes to these games that are, are so rare because they're unreleased or they were, had such a limited run or whatever, the price is about the, the rarity and the demand for for them as rare collectibles rather than the actual quality of the game itself. And, and two um, examples that I threw out there would be... Well, we, we got one recently with uh, Lakers vs. Celtics for the, yep. uh, for the uh, for Sega Mega Drive. And, and of course... That was a pretty good ge- game in its day, Lakers versus Celtics by EA Sports, the forerunner to the NBA Live series, of course. But you know, it's <laughs> it's not an eight eight thousand dollar or eight thousand pound rather game uh, by quality, but it's simply as a collectible. It is just that rare because the PAL version was unreleased. Um, Nintendo World Championships and stadium events for the original Nintendo Entertainment System they go for huge amounts of money because they're such they're so rare because they were limited uh, run and 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 such uh, sought-after collectibles. The games themselves are nothing special, but it, it's just that they are that um, you know, sought-after as the holy grail for collectors. And for basketball game collectors, that's kind of what NBA Elite 11 is. So even though the, the price tag... Well, it is ridiculous, but when, when you think about it, the, the reason is not the quality of the game. It's not that the game itself is worth 30000 or in this case, I guess, six grand a game, because there's a lot of five of them. <laughs> uh, but the fact that some of them are sealed, and that it's, it's a rare, unreleased game... Uh, that's you know, a rare collectible to get your your hands on. That's where the price comes in, but I'm not sure it's going to sell for thirty grand. No. So it'd be yeah, it'd be fun to just see if there's any like last minute bids for it. But uh, how much do you reckon? Uh, there's, there's, at the moment, it looks like there's thirteen watching it, including myself. Just I just want to see if it sells. Basically, I'm, I'm watching it not to make a bid, but, but to simply see whether it. Uh, well, it's actually it's buy it now. Buy it now or make offer. So there's no bidding. That's um, uh, so there's. Um, I'm just interested, yeah, interested to see if somebody actually does fork out the money or, or make an offer. But if you came across, uh, well, you got a PS3, so I guess you don't need a, um, um, a you don't need a PAL version you could import. But how much would you pay for a copy of uh, Elite Eleven? Do you reckon? Um, oh, hard to say because I'm, you know, kind of broke in terms of like. Putting all my money into my clothing fact into my clothing sure. brands, so. I, I mean, I, I don't have a lot yeah. of. Dis- I mean, I, I don't have a lot of disposable income myself at the moment. It's, uh, yeah. it, it's you know, being I'm budgeting very tightly at at at, uh, at present. But but say say you had the money that I don't know that you might spend on on a game here or there or collectibles or, or shoes or whatever. 
um you know what yeah. what how, how high do you reckon you would go um you know if, if you had if you had the means uh maybe 250 bucks yeah I, i'd be about the same like yeah 200 250 like yeah you know and not just the case though it has to be the actual game oh yeah yeah, yeah. Has, <laughs> because i got a pretty extensive collection of basketball video games these days um and they all work except inside drive 2000 which uh, is for the Xbox, and it, I did read that it was backwards compatible on the 360, or the 360 was compatible, backwards compatible with it, and it's not for whatever reason. So um, that was that was five bucks off eBay, so that, that, that's fine. I didn't spend, <laughs> I didn't spend a lot of money on that one. I just I just thought, oh well, I'll see if that one's backwards compatible because I had read it was wasn't five bucks. Who cares? Um, I do it was I'm, it thirty five thousand dollars? Well, it, it wasn't thirty thousand dollars for Inside Drive two thousand two. Now that one's fairly. Uh, readily available i think from secondhand shops you can track that one down pretty easy for the original xbox but elite 11 yeah that's a bit tougher to have but yeah i reckon 200 250 i think if if i um uh, put aside some beer money for that i guess um yeah <laughs> just to have it in the collection would be cool um or if, or if there's anyone at ea who wants to give me a copy that's that's cool too um <laughs> if this if they're still lying around the um <laughs> still some lying, lying around in a factory or warehouse somewhere be, if they haven't uh, been smelted down, not, not, not in a landfill like the uh, ET cartridges for Atari, <laughs> yeah. which which they found, which that turned out to be a thing. So because yeah. uh, it was like a it was like a myth sort of legend, wasn't it? It, it was a myth, and of course, then James Rolfe, the angry video game nerd, made his movie when when he did his theatrical release uh, about the game, basically. Um, so and yeah, then it, t- it turned out to be very true. They they found it. So um, <laughs> yeah, some of urban legends are true. So that was that was pretty cool, and and it's cool to see NBA Elite Eleven uh, surface it in some way. Like I said, I'd love to have a copy, but for thirty grand, you know, even for five copies of them that I could possibly resell four of them myself, eh? No, I think uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll be looking for a loan for that. I don't, I don't think there's anyone going to be giving me a loan for that. But um, are we gonna, are we gonna... <laughs> imagine just going to the bank and asking you for the loan and they go oh what do you want to spend this money on i, I want to i want to buy a rare video game that was cancelled because of quality concerns i said oh give this man give this man 30 grand it just uh, <laughs> uh, oh and 30 grand us too so what like 40 45 australian at the moment whatever it what it might be yeah about say 41 42, yeah so again house payment new car <laughs> that kind of thing <laughs> <laughs> no we five, five round release copies of nba elite 11 but yeah, that that was uh, a funny story. Thought I'd re- report on it. Uh, shout out to Popcorn, was it Popcorn Jones seventy seven on Twitter for bringing that to uh, attention. That's where I saw it, retweeted that, and then posted the uh, the bulletin earlier this week. And uh, yeah, might might have to follow up on that next week and see if they've sold and see if maybe the if not maybe the price will be lowered a bit. But pro- probably not to our liking. But, but still, <laughs> I mean, if the ca- if the case is selling for uh, thirty two hundred dollars. Um, the game is probably going to at least go for five thousand a piece. So, yeah. 